So now we're going to have Ona Hawk at Ona Hawk Studios before the morning ritual, which is part of our sequence that we do in conjunction with the sun salutation. So her first step is to go into a fourth bend. On the exhalation of her breath, she shifts her hips back and she bends her body forward, bringing, up, bringing the hands down to the floor. And she works her hands until she's able to bring her palms flat. And then from there, she comes up on the fingertips and onto the toes and the balls of her feet. And on the exhalation, the knees come down to the floor and open up the toes and the palms come and rest upon the thighs into the pharaonic pose called the sesh pose. From here, she's going to make her transition from the sesh pose, easing her way into the pyramid child pose. Hands make a pyramid shape. The chest comes down to the thighs. Or head goes into the pyramid that the hands are making. All of this is done on the exhalation of the breath. And then from here, the inhalation of the breath brings her up. The exhalation of the breath moves the hands onto the feet with the thumbs onto the feet. The rest of the palm against the floor. With the inhalation, she lifts her chest and arches her spine. With her exhalation, she releases from the hips and brings the top of the head or the back of the head to the floor. Coming down onto the forearms. And she takes slow, deep breaths, making the lungs expand and contract. This is called Kepra Pose, variation one. From there, she inhales herself up. She's going to put the weight of her body into her hands and she's going to push up so that there's no strain in the back. On the exhalation, her hands go forward and she's going to next go into the next pose, which is called the peacock. So the elbows come together, forearms together. The elbows are going to press into the belly. She raises her upper body on the exhalation, and then her body rises up easily, flowing into the peacock position. From here, she exhales, and she eases her feet to the floor, and she's going to slide her knees forward, sitting down in between the ankles, and she exhales and eases back into Kepra, Pose variation two. In the comedic system, we call this Kepra. And Kepra represents rebirth. Now, from here, her hands come back up to 12 o'clock. The chin comes to the chest. She exhales. And then she uses the inhalation to raise her body up out of the Kepra pose. And she makes a transition into her headstand. Taking her time, using the breath. The weight shifts from the feet into the arms. The legs go up. The back is straight. From here, she's going to breathe in. And as she exhales, she releases from her lower back, arching her spine. Once the spine is arched, she lets the knees bend and she brings the arms to the floor. She breathes in and then on exhalation, she pushes up, arches the spine. The head comes up towards the feet. The feet come down towards the head. As she exhales, she turns her head to the left. She inhales her head back to the center 
and then she exhale, hit, exhales her head to the right, opening up the vertebrae in the neck. And she recenters her head and she brings her head down, clasping the fingers around the back of the head. And then she's going to use her internal strength to straighten her back, straighten the legs. And then she's going to ease the weight down. Ease the thighs down to the chest, and then the feet are going to come down to the floor. And then she's going to ease her body down into the child pose. And after you finish the morning ritual, you go into your child pose, regenerate, restore, and revitalize energy back into your body. You, as you hold the position, you're breathing in slowly and breathing out slowly. You don't want to jump up or pop up out of the position too fast. So this is Yasera Hotep with Ona Hawk at Firehawk Studio in Atlanta.